Today's show is brought to you by TraderCobb.com. Visit TraderCobb, C-O-B-B.com to go visit and join up to our free bi-weekly video newsletter. In the newsletter, you'll get two emails per week with content about the markets, scans, often heads-up calls, and you can meet my apprentices. Join the website now and find out more about how you can get a structured trading approach and attack the markets with an idea of what you're doing. Join TraderCobb.com now. Trader, trade, trader, crypto podcast. podcast. This is the Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. G'day guys and welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Show. Hope you're having a good start, middle, end of your day. Once again, we just jump in and have a quick look at the markets and we can see a bit of red across the board. Yesterday, being Monday, I had said that uh, we were all green uh, leading out of the weekend. And look, not a great deal that happened over the weekend. We look at it now and basically see ourselves with a fair bit of red, uh, a bit more red than there was green yesterday. And to be honest with you, it's kind of actually only just happened in the last hour. Now, if you do recall, uh, yesterday I had said that I was waiting to see the 24 hours leading to 10 a.m. Sydney time, or best way to do it is to just tell you that it's when the candle closes for the daily candle, right? I wanted to see how it all played out, how it printed, and where we were looking likely to move from from that point on. Now, as it stands, and we do have another bearish candle in the cradle zone, and it has broken down. Uh, it has broken down on Bitcoin, on Ethereum, not on Ripple, it has on Bitcoin Cash, it has on EOS, it has on Cardano. Litecoin the same. Lumen, well, Lumen's probably the, the exception. It continues to go sideways, wasn't in the cradles. So Neo's just about looking likely to break down, and IOTA hasn't broken down either. So some bearishness starting to creep back into the markets with many of the lower time frame or the mid time frame four hour period showing a lower low once again, and some even with a lower high in there as well. Now, what does this mean to me? Oh, that's a good question. Um, to be honest with you, I, I, at this stage, there's not enough momentum for it to be of any concern. Uh, if you consider the fact that Bitcoin has been in a bit of a range, uh, it's no surprise at all to see it continue this way um, at all. You know, if we look at, say, between sort of 6,000 and 6,600, let's just make it nice and easy. So there's a $600 range that we seem to be sitting in. We keep bouncing around within it. And the for the, for the last week or so, we have crept to the higher side of that range. Now, that might does, that doesn't really mean that much. As I was saying yesterday, if we do break out, then if we broke above that 6,600 level, it's actually a little bit higher, 66.5, I think was the number we spoke of, then we'll look more likely to see a small run, uh, maybe even on to 7,000 or beyond. But we also hadn't, haven't broken from that range yet, which means that we may stay within it. Ranges can last for days, weeks. They can even last for months. They can be short. They can be huge. They can be tradable ranges, and they can be untradable ranges. A tradable range would be something like, you know, between maybe 8,000 and 10,000, where we can have a trend uh, on the way up to the top of that range, and then we can have a downtrend on the way back down, and we can trade within it. This one that I'm seeing right now is not one that I can be trading with him. So how do we actually take advantage of it? What, what can we do? Do we, you know, do we sit back and do absolutely nothing? Is that what we do? Uh, no, that's not a good idea from my point of view. You, you can do, but I, I'm a trader. I'm, I'm happy. Look, I'm happy to not trade lots. I'm happy to not have heaps of trades, but I do want to be trading. And this is where you can actually come in and use Bitcoin um, or trade against Bitcoin. And, you know, with many platforms out there now, we do have margin trading against some Bitcoin pairs. Now, I prefer to stick within the top 10. Now, if we have a look at what Bitcoin's doing, and if, if, if those of you who are not already on the mailing list, let me, uh, let me tell you to do it. <laughs> Go across to tradercob.com, uh, just to the website. There's a free bi-weekly video newsletter where you receive at least one, generally at least one, top 10 video per week. Now that shows you what I'm looking at within the top 10, and it gives you a pretty good snapshot as to what I think is going on. Now, in that top 10 video that went out yesterday, uh, I to all the people that have subscribed to that, I showed them a Bitcoin top 10 scam. Now that top 10 scan has actually turned out to look very similar to that of the dollar over the last little while. Now, it continues to look very similar to the dollar, but it's when we go to the lower time frames, we might actually start to find some opportunities. So we can trade against Bitcoin, and we can also trade against the dollar. So if you consider this, all right, Bitcoin, I just told you that there's not much of a range there for me to trade. I'm not looking to be trading Bitcoin right now. It's not something I'm willing to be trading until it breaks 
uh, either down through the, the old lows of the year, then I'll be bearish once again, or creates a clear lower high. I haven't got that yet. Then, uh, sorry, lower high and lower low, then I'm happy to sort of, you know, leave Bitcoin alone and look to other markets. But with that being said, I mean, you look at Ethereum against both Bitcoin and dollar. So that's Ethereum times two now. We've got two options, Bitcoin against the dollar and Bitcoin against Bitcoin. Sorry, Bitcoin Cash against Bitcoin. Again, two options. EOS the same. Cardano the same. I mean, Cardano arguably is starting to look like it might. Oh, it's just broken down. But you get the point, guys. There's plenty of opportunity out there if you know what you're looking for. Now, as these markets continue to move sideways or bang around in their ranges, within when I talk about that, I'm talking about Bitcoin, and was with the rest of the market falling, your alts are probably getting bashed as well. Now, think about this. How long are you going to sit back right now and say that hodling is the way to go? How long are you going to do that? It's not worked this year. Now, I'm all for having a good position in your portfolio. I'm all for that. No issues whatsoever with that at all. None. The issue I do have is that if you continue to talk talk yourself into not trading, you're missing opportunities daily. You can't hodl and short, which means you will let your portfolio decrease in value. Why not trade and hodl if that's the way you want to play the game. As the wonderful Zig Ziglar said, you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great. How long are you going to sit back and tell yourself everything's okay whilst your portfolio drops in value? There are opportunities out there for those that know what they're looking for. I can help you with that if that's what you want to do. Right now, we're down nearly 10% on most of the top 10. That represents massive opportunity for a trader. It doesn't for a hodler. Have a great day. Consider that. Hit the website and join the free bi-weekly video newsletter if you haven't already, guys, because there's a bunch of free info you're just not getting. Have a good one. Bye. The Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. Check out TraderCobb.com because experience matters.